Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels. So if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Uh, today um, in the UK, the weather um, is uh, cloudy but dry and um, still quite uh, cold, um, but not too bad. Um, so, um, hi everyone how's it going are you all okay and um, hi if you're new to my channel my name's Rebecca I love talking about travel and lifestyle and um, if you haven't subscribed please subscribe it's a red and white subscription button also click the notification bell so you never miss a upload i upload five times a week on both my travel and lifestyle channel so i'm going to fire away with uh, today's vlog uh, which is travel news uk five exciting facts december 2021 part three um, so I'm going to kick off with uh, BBC News, which is a BBC co UK slash news. UK removed all 11 countries from the red travel list. The government has said that all 11 countries will be removed from the U uh, UK travel red list uh, from at 4 a.m. at, at T uh, today morning so that's really good news so south africa um, and other countries that were on the red list um have now been all removed so that's um really good um number two the telegraph it uh, says chaos as uh, people remain in the UK at quarantine hotel after red list is scrapped. Thousands of people remain stuck in quarantine hotels uh, despite the fact that the red list has now been cleared from all countries. So that's uh, not any good really for saying now the red list has been cleared. Um, number three, um, the independent uh, travel rules are disproportionate um, pay UK airlines. Oh, sorry. Um, the independent says news rules disappointed. Um, they say UK airlines which it is uh, with the fact that, that people still have to quarantine the airlines are ryanair british airways and tui have uh, condemned the tougher rules introduced due to the omicron coronavirus variant and um, again I, I can't see what the government are, um, are doing here um but to be fair um, again, I don't think it's right if you've uh, again cleared um, the red list at birth, people still have to pay for hotels. Um, I really don't think it's right. Um, number four, um, Euro News at uh, UK Travel. Uh, Pre-departure and day two tests new required, but this um, is one trick that could save you time. You can actually do the test on or before day two. The rule is stated on the UK government's website. There is a link um, on the UK, uh, sorry, on the Euro News. Uh, website so uh, this means you can get tested as soon as you've landed in the UK which um, again is um, again really good um, but it should be more appa uh, apparent really um, even though it's on the UK website but um, it should be made um, that more people know about it 
and last but not least um nottingham post a uk travel ban updates as to a ryanair jet to easyjet are hit by the omicron at rise um multi aisle uh, countries are or multi pole countries are closing their um borders um for uh, people uh, from the UK um, admit the fresh update in obviously the coronavirus obviously the coro um, the coronavirus the unbroken variant, variant is rising in, um, in the UK that's why uh, multiple countries have closed at their borders again uh, booking a um, trip especially or holiday abroad abroad um, especially at the moment um, is again dicey and uh, you may if it's the early part of the new year have to move your holiday or try and get a refund um, so I would like to say thank you for watching and um, I hope everybody has the best day and or night as possible depending where you are in the world and um, thank you and bye for now thank you bye